Hello everybody and welcome back to Project Hospital. Welcome. We're going to have a look and see how Mr. Rodriguez is going. So what's happening with you? Oh, you needed an x-ray, didn't you? You need an x-ray on your chest. Okay, so let's do that. So let's get an x-ray in. So I'm going to build one from scratch. I was just going to show you that you can buy rooms already built. So you can go on the prefabs. So if you click on that, on every single department, you can see all of the rooms in that department. You can just simply click and place. So we could do that with the x-ray. Should I do that with the x-ray? How much is it? 23,000. We've got 47,000. We do need to be careful with money. Um, oh, bugger it. Let's get it. Let's put it somewhere like there. That's all you have to do. So you can just click, place them down. Really, really simple. What wall have we got going around? We've got two stripes in blue. So let's get that going on now. We'll get a little bit more flooring. We'll continue with this wood for a little bit. But I think we could, we'd probably change it a bit later on. So in here, I'm just going to go in. I'm just going to take away a few of the bits that we don't need. I don't need two of them. That's probably it, actually. Oh, I definitely don't need two of them. Just to get us a little bit of money back on it, but that's good. So let's get someone in here. So we need someone that has the radiology skill. So the high is, is Mr. Davis, Mr. Fraser over here. However, he has four of those hidden perks. So who looks the best here? That's quite an annoying one. That's the low, the low, long commute. So it means that every day they come in a little bit later for work, which can be a bit annoying because sometimes you can have a patient that's uh, ready to go in and then they're not there and they're stuck in traffic and just a shambles really just a shambles so let's go with oh he's good though for 70 percent that is relatively cheap when you think linda's more expensive and she's 20 okay fraser you're in we don't know what you're gonna be like but you're in so this down here this flashing exclamation mark and sort of triangle sign means that the department is has been started but there's something stopping it from being fully functional so it, for us it is that there's not a waiting room for radiology so out here we need to create a waiting room so let's do that we'll extend it a little bit more there and then we should get a few benches are we doing white benches aren't we twist that around get something in like that and put a fancy chair maybe there and then should we put something like i don't know coffee table and a flower beautiful there we go oh we've completed another objective which has given us thirty thousand pounds of a government grant happy days and balling so that's that where's daniel so dan you go and get an x-ray on your chest we'll put you back on control by doctors so that means that we've told you to go and get an x-ray, but now they will sort of continue on with it. So they'll keep going. A bit more flooring in there. And let's just fill out that bit there. We'll leave that because I don't know what we're going to do there at the minute. Maybe some labs. So there, there are three labs in this game. So there's the histology lab. Where am I going? Mental laboratories. There's the hematology, microbiology and histology. So blood... Uh, microbes and then tissue so we'll get them in what I was thinking is we could have one big room maybe something like there and then I have every lab in that one room instead of having sort of three separate rooms I thought that might be quite a good idea but let's see how it goes so when we complete this we will get another £50,000 grant which is awesome news we can get another insurance company. So this dictates how many patients come to your hospital. So at the minute, we're only getting 10 patients. No, is that right? Three patients. Yeah, so that's our patient intake, the little white man. So we're getting 10. If we also get this company here, we also get 10 more. Oh, it's locked. 
have to treat three patients. Surely I've done that already, haven't I? Have I not? Okay. So as as, oh, you've got one more person to go, look. So one more person and we can unlock uninsured people. Naughty, naughty. So let's go right down here. So what's wrong with you? Um, Ma'am. Good. You've got scoliosis. Okay, so you need you need your exercise. Have some anti-inflammatories as well. What's wrong with you, Daniel? Another Daniel? You need an x-ray, mate. I reckon... 50-50. I reckon it's a foot contusion. So let's follow Daniel. What do you guys think? What is it? What is it? What is it? It is... Oh! What an absolute... I should be one of the doctors. So you need some numbing ointment and we'll leave the rest. Oh, Daniel Rodriguez is back again. There's no clear diagnosis. Consider adding more diagnostic equipment, laboratories or radiology rooms. Oh, Daniel, what is wrong with you, mate? So you need the microbial sampling. So let's... So we can get some uninsured people. So let's do that. Let's pause the game. And I think let's get a nice big medical lab up here. Yeah, 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 let's do it. So let's get a wall. How can we do this? Let's get let's get a wall there. We'll get a wall there. And what I thought we could do, if we chuck on a couple of doors, double glass doors, we'll just go let's get one at the moment, and maybe we'll save space when we get another one here. The water would be really cool to have like a completely like glass um, waiting room. Let's get it on now. How does that look? Yeah, I think that's cool. So what we could do, I don't know if you need a door per lab. It might be worth doing it just in case. Let's get one there, one there and one at the end. So if we go, so on medical laboratories, so let's waiting room, drag that out. And then we're going to go, so how big do they have to be? It has to be a minimum of a four by four. Four, one, two, three. Okay, so we'll have to extend this. Okay, so I think that's enough space for the moment. So in the waiting room, we'll get a few benches. Let's go something like that. Oh, actually, it might be better doing something like... That we might get a few more benches in. That, that, one there, and then maybe here we could have a vending machine. I don't think you need a QTV because I think we will need one for X ray though. Because I think up here, um, the scientists they will automatically come to the door to get the patient samples. So I don't think we're going to need a Q machine with my radiology. I don't think that we're going to need a key machine um, for the medical labs. I'm not getting any info TV for the x-ray because then he hasn't got to keep coming out to do that. So floor wise, let's go for the dark wood. Something a bit different. And then maybe in the labs. Yeah, I think tiles is the most accurate, isn't it? Something like that. It's normally liner or tiles. So microbiology lab. We're going to need a computer and some quite big equipment. So let's get the bin by the door, because that makes sense. We'll get that. Desk-wise, should we get like a lab desk for the computer? Or should we get the, the, the half lab desks are quite cool? That's 369, that's only 299. I can get two things on it. So let's get that. Are we gonna go stool or are we gonna go office chair? Stool makes more sense in my mind in a lab. So let's just get one. We'll just get one person in here at the moment, I think. And then as we sort of progress through quite a lot of times, I will sort of just add someone else in. So I'll sort of I'll add another member of the lab staff to each lab. Um, I don't tend to do night staff in the labs. I tend to always just have two day staff, but we can have a look. We'll see how it goes. We can evaluate the situation as it goes along. So, okay, let's go get sample storage maybe do that you're gonna fume hood so let's get that 
Or do we get all the big stuff on that wall there? Yeah, that looks a bit better, doesn't it? So I'm just going to need a few things here. So let's get lab sink, lab desk. And I could get things like, oh, you need to go on the floor. We'll get microscope and we'll get some glassware burettes. You don't like it though. Is it because of the bin? Uh, what ones do I like more? Glassware. Glassware burette. What makes more sense? Well, glassware makes more sense in here. You didn't have the burette and the microbiology lab, would you? Maybe let's do that. That's a very basic lab at the moment because that's the only things we need. So let's get a few more sort of decorative things. So the lab shelf, you definitely have something like that with all your bits and bobs. Bookcase probably, well, maybe. But let's maybe go, oh, okay, let's keep it like that for the moment then. Always get some scrubs for above the printer. Yeah, something like that, So I think that's a, a nice start. So that's our little microbiology lab. Let's find the sticker for it. So microbiology is, I can never find these. There we go. And we've got blue walls, so let's go. Or white wall, sorry, so let's go for a blue sticker. Staff. Who do we have then? So we need this biochemistry skill. So that's the skill that we need. So you are really cheap and you have a very high biochemistry skill. You are going to have a long commute, but you do work hard. Richard, you're in. Look at old Richard, look, loving life up there. On this wall here, let's just get a cheeky. Maybe there's like a medical labs, yeah. There we go, just so people know that these are the labs in here. Now we can expand this out and we can get the histology and the hematology lab. So that's great, because as soon as I click play, this objective should be complete. Uh, am I missing something? Oh, you need the hematology lab. <sighs> Trust me to do that, okay. Oh, is that what I need to do? Okay, awesome. So that's given us the grant. So we're, we've got quite a lot of money at the moment, which is great news. So let's just sort of see how it goes for the mo. And once we get a little bit better off, we can start putting in um, the hematology lab. And then that department then, oh, it already is, isn't it? But it's missing equipment. Let's just do it. It's going to be easier if we just do it. So, so you need similar items to the microbiology lab. Do I want the desks next to each other? Yeah, let's just try it. Let's get printer. Um, bin, let's get a yellow bin. By the door. You're going to need sample storage as well. And that's what I thought we could do, something like that. You also need a lab sink, so do something like that. We need a hematology analyzer. We need some glassware. Let's get that glass. Nope, let's get glassware small. Um, then we need RNA, IRA, sorry, and thermal cycler. So let's get another lab desk here. I'll get thermal cycler, IRA. I like that. Yeah. Looks a bit better when it's in line, doesn't it? Awesome, so that's our hematology lab. So we can get a lab shelf, we'll get some more scrubs. Something like that. Okay, so who are we gonna hire for here? So the highest out of all of them is Elizabeth. Ginger Elizabeth. Let's go for, so that's night out, so you're more suited to working at night time. Is that resistance? Rest levels decrease slower. Okay, so that's not bad. You are more expensive though. Okay, so let's go for Elizabeth Green because you're by no means the most expensive. You've got the highest skill and your rest levels decrease slower. So let's get Elizabeth Green in. So they're having an awesome time in there. Let's get the, what do we do with the hematology? Do something like that. Perfect. 
So now have our medical laboratory department up and running, which is great news. Okay, so our next two objectives, this one, the open clinic at any specialized department. So this is an interesting one. So you have all of these specialized departments. So there's general surgery, internal medicine, orthopedy, cardiology, and neurology. However, these departments require a lot of rooms. So I'll just click on one. You need an internal medicine office, which is a bit like this doctor's office. So this is where the patient first goes to sort of have an interview with the doctor. The doctor sort of asks questions of, you know, what's actually wrong? What's the matter? What are your symptoms? You need a waiting room. It's ideal to have a reception and it's also ideal to have a cleaning closet. So that's all of your sort of day room stuff, sort of general stuff. So this opens the clinic. However, you then get the hospitalization. So that's when you need a lot more room. So you have things like the operating theater, you have um, sonography, you have a regular ward, high dependency ward. There's a lot of bit, there's a lot of rooms for hospitalization for any of those departments. So it's great because you think, okay, so I will just open the clinic and we'll let that roll for a bit and then we can open up the hospitalization later. However, as soon as you open the clinic, you start to get those messages coming up of patient XYZ needs hospitalization. You're pushed towards starting to input your hospitalization infrastructure and sometimes be a bit too early because the buildings for those are really expensive. The operating theatre is sort of 25 grand at least. Um, the wards are expensive because you have to buy sort of life monitoring apparatus and you know, sort of bits and bobs like that. Okay, oh, another patient treated. Charles is going home happy. So we have a few people here that's sort of waiting. We've got two. So who's going first? You're going first, Daniel. You still have your foot contusion. Okay, so Daniel's done. Who's next? Fraser, are you going in next? What's wrong with you then? So you've got either athlete's foot or fungus. So probably something similar, but they're both fungi, aren't they? So go for your mycological sampling. That's going to tell you what fungus it is, and then we can decide whether you've got athlete's foot, what other fungus that is, or if you've got just a general onchiomycosis okay so let's follow Fraser because I think he's going to be our first person that goes to the medical laboratories oh the doctor already knows you've got athlete's foot mate so let's get, let's get you some antifungal ointment um, antihistamines won't be good and some general foot cream will be good what's happening to you Mr Michael so you either have lactose intolerance or Crohn's disease Gosh, you're not having a good time, mate, are you? So I assume we're not sure. So yeah, okay. So you're currently going for a blood test. So I assume the blood test can tell if you've got Crohn's. Would it tell you if you've got lactose intolerance on the blood? I suppose you could do like a could do like a an enzyme or a protein test and see if you've got lactose sort of residing in your blood. Oh, don't go in the lab. You ain't got a lab coat on or scrubs. Michael, 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 what are we going to do with you? Okay, so the staff room looks nice, people are chilling out in there. X ray's nice, quite quiet. I think I'm just going to build a wall. Let's build a wall here. So it's just like a separate area. Then let's make this yellow, this area. So let's get those yellow panel doors. We'll get this the same style, but yellow. That's a bit funky, isn't it? And stickers, where are stickers? So we want some radiology stickers. Like that. Um, yeah, blue's okay. So okay, I'm either side of the door there. Either side of the door there. So outside this, you're going to want an x-ray sign. So pop it there. Okay, okay. That's cool. It's its own separate little entity. Let's get in a different floor. That is a white floor. Or should we do something like, if we do that, that, 
that. Get like a yellow stripe going round the outside. There's some of it. Oh, you need leaves in the middle. So it's a little bit different. Yeah, okay, I like that. So that's our little radiology department. We can sort of expand that out maybe this way when we start thinking about um, MRI. What should we have? Do you have CAT on here? What do you have? You've got CAG, CT, MRI, and we've got the X ray. So I'd like to expand this so that we have every single room for radiology. However, these are expensive. If we just have a quick look on the prefabs, MRIs. 60 grand, CT is 45 grand, CAG is 35 grand. So they are very expensive, so we'll sort of just keep going how we are at the moment. Is that Michael? Yeah, you're still waiting for your blood test, are you? Let's try and get your blood test done. Come on, Linda, is it Linda? Elizabeth. I need to tell Michael his uh, his results. Go on, Michael, what have you got? You've got lactose intolerance. That's going to be diet mortification. So you have your diet mortification. So that should be another person treated. Hopefully we can very soon have 10 patients which have been treated in our hospital. That's gonna give us another 30,000 pounds, which will be great. We will really, really need that. Yay! So the bank's looking healthy. Chris is going home happy. He's loving life. He's had his hay fever sorted out with some antihistamines. Oh, we could have it's life a bit more easy but oh well so chris is going home happy if chris is going home happy i'm going home happy we've built our medical laboratory maybe next time we can start thinking about histology if that's needed i think because we're going to be expecting 20 patients tomorrow and we might get some which so that's 20 patients from your um, insurance companies but you also get patients which come in um sort of on top of that the sort of random cases so I think tomorrow, I think we're going to need someone else in here, aren't we? Um, let's get them in now. Else, let's get, let's be prepared and let's get them in. So for you, we always sort of want a high diagnosis and general medicine. So you're 60, 68, you're fairly expensive. You're sort of 40s, 350. Okay. You do work better at night. But these might also have night owl. At least we actually know some of Thomas's. Go on, Thomas, you're in. Thomas Scott. Dr. Thomas is in the building. Because then that means we have a hat trick of GPs, or sort of doctors for general triage and interviewing for tomorrow. Because we're going to have a busier day with 20 patients. Are you coming in, Michael? Oh yeah, you've got lactose intolerance, haven't you? Okay, so he's seeing our new doctor, great. What's wrong with Nancy? Oh, you have insomnia, Nancy. It's not good. Tranquilizers? Christ, just tranquilized Nancy in the middle of the hospital. You've been tranked. Okay, awesome. So that looks like the day is sort of gonna end there. I don't know if we're gonna get, we're gonna get any more patients before the end of the day. What's everyone just gonna run about, go and get a coffee and chill out? What does our clinic end? Six o'clock. So I seem I don't I don't know for definite what happens if you've got someone in the building that's sort of going through treatment. Obviously if we don't have hospitalization, do they just automatically go at six o'clock or can they stay for sort of ten minutes extra just to get their, their sort of medicine or something? I'm not sure. Okay, so that's the end of the day. We're not going to get any more patients, so our clinic opening hours have ended. All the staff stay on for an extra two hours, so their shift ends at eight o'clock. So they can sort of finish up any paperwork, clean the lab, sort of clean the bench, sterilise it, stuff like that. Oh God, um, janitor, have we got a night janitor? No, so let's get a night janitor. I'm tempted just to go for you, Sarah, because you're quite cheap. Yeah, let's go cheap and cheerful. So Sarah's going to come in. Oh, you might as well stay here, love. Oh. Sarah's going to come in tonight and she's going to clean our hospital for us. 
and everyone else is going to go home. See you later guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so we can let that sort of go for tonight. You can get it going a bit quicker there. Um, I'm going to leave this part here guys. I'll see you again soon. Next time I see, uh, well it'll be in the morning. We'll start another day. Maybe we can start thinking about expanding the medical lab. We can maybe get a few more doctor's offices if it gets a bit busier with these 20 patients that we're expecting tomorrow. And then our goal sort of in the next few episodes is start thinking about this um, owning up the specialised department. I don't want to rush into anything so we'll, we'll keep ticking over at the minute and maybe next time we can start thinking about you know do we need to expand our foundations for this. We will need to expand our foundations at least for the histology lab because that's a minimum of 4x4. Four four. So maybe we can incorporate that into next episode. Um, I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for work for working. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. I'll speak to you soon. Take care. See you later. If you like the video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, post a comment down below, and please follow me on Facebook and Twitter to keep updated. See you later.